Alright, so now into the best topic of the video. Coming directly from Epic Games Newsroom, they had this to say. Apple removed Fortnite from the App Store and has informed Epic that on Friday, August 28th, Apple will terminate all our developer accounts and cut off Epic from iOS and Mac development tools. We are asking the court to stop this retaliation. Details here. Guys, this is extremely massive, and I feel like a lot of people do not understand how massive this actually is. Not only will this affect Fortnite on iOS for pretty much forever, potentially, but it actually affects Unreal Engine and every game developer that uses Unreal Engine. So, it is actually quite a few games, and probably your favorite games are on this list right here. So, before we get to that point, just so you guys know, even though uh, Epic Games is going against Google and Apple, there's actually a lot of backers, including Facebook, small game developers, indie game developers, and even Spotify are on the side of Epic Games and trying to get rid of these massive lawsuits and make Apple stop being so abusive. Now, continuing on with the video, uh, Shadow Battle Rail had this to say. Epic Games has filed a second lawsuit against Apple because Apple will terminate the developer accounts on, of all Epic Games employees on August 28th. Epic Games will no longer have access to iOS and Mac development tools at all after this date. Lucas had this to say, Lawsuit V2. Also, this means Battle Breakers will be a goner if they do in fact lose their dev accounts. Fiery Monkey had this to say on the subject, Based on the new lawsuit, Apple is revoking Epic's access to iOS and Mac development tools. This could potentially result in Fortnite not being updated on Macs in the near future, however, I'm not 100% certain. 27 states that Apple is blocking iOS and Mac OS from Epic and will also hurt Unreal Engine able to be supported on iOS and Mac OS. Mikey had this to say, Facebook is now standing with Epic Games, so great work to Facebook. Monkey again had this to say, According to the Epic vs. Apple document, as of June 2020, Fortnite has over 350 million registered users around the world. Alright, that is absolutely crazy. I did not think the Epic Games and Fortnite were still this popular. 350 million people playing still as of June 2020. So yes guys, the game is definitely not dead. Not even close. So stop saying in the comments below the game is freaking dead. Alright, so we have two more tweets on this actual lawsuit subject. So coming directly from a guy named Daniel, he had this to say. Apple removing Fortnite from the App Store for bypassing Apple's payment system is one thing, but removing Epic Games developers' tools impacts Unreal Engine as a whole and the ability to support games using it. This could even impact developers and even those on the Apple Arcade. And last but not least, here's just some of the games that are actually based upon Unreal Engine and could be affected by this massive lawsuit. Final Fantasy Remake, Ark Survival Evolved, Gears 5, Borderlands 3, Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, Fortnite, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, PUBG, Sea of Thieves, and a lot more. So you guys can definitely tell this is actually quite massive. This will in fact impact a lot of game companies. So hopefully Apple stops their crap and stops being such a greedy company over 20% and just like completely drops the lawsuit. It just says, fine, we're not going to do this anymore. So leave your opinions down below about this brand new lawsuit. Coming directly from Polygon, we have another Fortnite freaking lawsuit, man. I, mean, I cannot keep up with all these lawsuits, but... They had this to say, Florida's Stonehenge is suing Epic Games over Coral Castle. Meanwhile, Epic Games is suing Apple and Google. So supposedly, the company that owns Florida's Stonehenge, also known as Coral Castle, is suing Fortnite developer Epic Games for using the name in its new season. So I'm not quite sure about the legality of this, but quite frankly, I don't see the big deal. I mean, yeah, okay, it's the same name and that's really about it. They don't look all that similar, like obviously like Coral Castle was based off mythical type things, and the real life Coral Castle in Florida is just simply some old stone. So not quite sure how I feel about that, but yes, another lawsuit is now against Epic Games, and leave your comments down below about this.